Hey there, I'm Liam with Wedding Photo and Video by Liam. And um, we noticed something really strange. Back in September about is when we first noticed it. And just for the record, right now, this is November of 2023. So just a few months ago, um, we noticed that we're, when the leads were coming in, people would inquire, they'd email, text, phone, we're getting more and more and more inquiries for micro weddings. Um, <clears throat> and at first I, I, I didn't even realize it. And then I realized a lot were coming in. We still had inquiries, inquiries for, you know, traditional size weddings, traditional length weddings, but we were getting more and more micro weddings. Um, what is a micro wedding? It depends on who you ask. Um, you know, I even looked up online people's definition and it varies. But here in the office, uh, we have a definition that's kind of fourfold. Uh, number one, a micro wedding is small in size. Um, number two, it's short in length. Number three, it's simpler, so SSS. And then number four, I, I, I couldn't come up with another S, but it's low cost. Um, so small, short, simple, <clears throat> and, and lower cost. Um, so when you say small, what are we talking about? It depends who you ask. I've seen people say, oh, 50 or less. Uh, I think that's getting to be more of a traditional size. Micro weddings in my mind are 20 or fewer people, but usually 10 or fewer people. Um, often there's no bridal party at all. Uh, there may be uh, like a <clears throat> best man and a maid of honor, but there's no large uh, bridal party. Um, in terms of short, what that means is it's shorter in length. Uh, you know, a typical wedding for us, a typical wedding contract for us, they go anywhere from 2 to 12 hours, but average is probably in the 6-hour range. Micro weddings are very short. They, they, they're not looking for not just with their vendors, but with their guests uh, for a long event that day. So they, they are much shorter. It's often a, a very short ceremony and, and maybe a, a simple meal um, and not like a big extravagant party. Um, when we say simpler, we're really talking about, it's more casual. Um, it, it, it just, all the bells and whistles that go into some of the larger weddings that you, you know, visualize don't happen with a micro wedding and then again finally most importantly low cost um, I've seen micro weddings cost uh, $200 um, and and you can do that uh, I'll go on and explain that in a little bit uh, or or up to $5,000 for a small <clears throat> backyard wedding um, <clears throat> when we bring up the term micro wedding I've had people say well isn't that just eloping and eloping really is a little bit different. Um, eloping tends to be private. Uh, oftentimes it, it is just the couple eloping. Um, it often means that it is um, a civil service, not in a, a church or a temple. Um, and in terms of private, many times they don't tell people that they're eloping. They, they don't want to offend uh, family or friends by not inviting them. For example, my parents eloped, um, and my mom showed us the, the spot where, where they eloped, and it was a backyard wedding, and they had friends that owned this beautiful cottage on um, a cove in Maine, and they got married in the backyard, and it was just uh, a justice of the peace, and they each had a, a friend there as, as a witness, and they didn't tell their parents for, for a while. So it was kind of private, um, very low cost, and, and people do that. So then people say, well, is a courthouse wedding a micro wedding? Yes, it could be, definitely. Most courthouse weddings, I would say, are in the um, definition of, court, uh, of a micro wedding. Courthouse weddings, that we do a lot of them each year. They range from two people, just the couple, up to maybe 10, you know, a lot of the courthouse rooms, the ceremony rooms where they perform these at the courthouses, they're really small, so it's hard to fit more than 10 people in, and the courthouses have a, a limit on how many uh, guests you're allowed to bring into the ceremony room. 
the advantage of a courthouse wedding, yes, it's a micro wedding, is, is the cost. At the moment, you can have a ceremony in a courthouse anywhere in Florida, and the ceremony costs $30. And the clerk, one of the clerks of the court will perform it. Uh, we've witnessed many of these, photographed, filmed them. And they're very short. They're five minutes, 10 minutes, that's it. Um, you still have to purchase the license in Florida. There is a range on the license in Florida. It's between 61 and $86, depending are you a resident or non-resident. So all in, you can get married in the state of Florida um, for under $150. You know, so it's extremely affordable um, to do a micro wedding as a courthouse wedding. Um, moving on to a civil service. So a lot of people say a, a civil service is a micro wedding. It, it could be. Civil service, I've always thought of that as, as non-denominational. It's, it's not religious service. It's not in a church. It's not in a temple. Civil service um, is usually performed by, um, it, it, it could be a justice of the peace or anyone who's been ordained. Um, and the location for civil service could be anywhere. But generally, it's not in a church or a temple. So it could be at a beach, could be at a bar, uh, a park, a backyard. Uh, oftentimes people refer to the civil services as a DIY or do-it-yourself wedding. Um, these are all kind of lumped together and, and these terms are all used interchangeably. But civil service, often we've done a lot of these, like two people will fly down to Florida, they want to get married, they hire a justice of the peace, they hire us to photograph or film it. We find a spot on the beach, they do their little ceremony, we get some photos, and, and boom, they've, they've done their civil service. In that case, it was also an elopement. Um, so moving on, can you have a micro-wedding in a church? Absolutely, we've done a lot of micro-weddings um, in churches, and there are quite a few people, uh, or, or a temple, who want um, a religious ceremony but they don't want a huge 100-person wedding. And so we've done quite a few of these where it's really just the couple and the parents and, and maybe just a few close family members, but they, they do a church micro-wedding. And oftentimes, after they meet in the, the church's community room, the fellowship space, if you will, um, and, and have a, a tiny little uh, after uh, celebration there, um, coffee afterwards, etc. So we, we've done quite a few of these. Um, so what it gets down to when here in the office, we were talking about this, like, why is this happening? We, we stopped work one day and started talking about it. And it really, we believe it comes down to the economic climate we're in right now. And again, this is November of 2023. Uh, we're, we're still dealing with um, inflation even though our administration keeps trying to tell us that you know inflation was transitory, uh, it's not. Um, it, it has gone on for years. Finally, it's tampering down a little bit, but it's really hitting everybody uh, regarding housing, both renting and buying, interest rates on a mortgage, interest rates on credit cards, interest rates on new and used cars. Um, and I read the Wall Street Journal every morning and you know they clearly are stating that wages are just have not kept up pace with inflation. So people are really feeling it. Um, post pandemic, people had extra cash. Um, the government was handing out a lot of money, and that extra cash, according to financial experts, it's all gone now. It's been used up. It's been spent, um, and so now people are getting back to you know reality and 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 dealing with this. And so weddings oftentimes are, are looked at kind of as a luxury, you know, a, a big la lavish wedding reception is a luxury for many people. So in the wedding industry, we, we refer to it as it is kind of recession proof in that people still get married, they just spend less. So um, it does affect uh, the industry. But it doesn't stop people from getting married. It really doesn't. Um, you, you, as I stated earlier, you can get married, you know, very affordably in in Florida and, and not, you know, not not spend a lot. Um, 
one reason they do these micro weddings a lot of them become DIY do it yourself you can save a tremendous amount of money food and alcohol at weddings is is the big expense it is not unheard of to uh, budget 100 to 200 dollars per guest at your reception just for the food and alcohol and then you have to add on all the other things so uh, if you do it yourself in your backyard you can do it much more affordably there is one thing i wanted to point out regarding micro weddings do-it-yourself weddings if you're not having it at uh, a, like a licensed venue, a wedding venue, you really, really want to consider uh, day of event insurance. You can get online. There are different websites. You explain what your event is. It will ask whether or not you're serving alcohol at the event, and they will quote you a price uh, so that you have liability coverage that day. Because if you're doing a do-it-yourself wedding, now all of a sudden you are the venue and you are liable and it, it really is something I would consider. We do right now over a hundred weddings a year and you know things happen at, at weddings so I, I highly recommend it. Um, now having said all that what is the one thing that couples still want from their micro wedding? Well you, you guessed it photo and video. So if there's one thing that a couple decides that they will spend money on for their micro wedding hands down it's it's photo and video and it's almost because it's a micro wedding they really want the photo and video because they didn't invite all their family and all their friends and and now they want to at least share the experience with people and to do that they they need photo and video and so um, we, we still get hired, even though um, more people are doing micro weddings, but we're just doing smaller ones, shorter ones, uh, but a lot of them. So I think it has to come down to, you have to ask, is a micro wedding right for you? Some things that I thought about in, in writing this up is, I've learned, I've been doing this over 20 years, hundreds and hundreds of weddings. There's no right or wrong with weddings, um, I say throw tradition out the window. I really mean that. You need to do what feels right. Don't worry about offending anyone, family or friends, um, especially stick to your budget. I have seen people just blow their budget out of the water, um, taking um, home equity loans um, to, to pay for their weddings, putting weddings on credit cards. I think you should stick to your budget. Don't let anybody guilt you into lar doing a larger or longer or lavish wedding if you don't want to. And that includes your vendors as well. If you're hiring people to, to, to work your event, work your wedding, just do what feels right. Don't let them convince you to do something you don't want. Um, and remember, you know, you, the wedding couple, you're the ones who end up living with the memory of your wedding. It, it's not your family or friends, it's you. So if you have any questions about micro weddings, uh, feel free to call the office here. We're happy to help. And that's it. Wedding photo and video by Liam. Thanks.